better than being the what's better than being the parent of an 11 year old who slammed a home run in one of the biggest games of the season being the grandparent of that child. That's better almost in every situation. Yeah. And tonight, the story of a special young baseball player with the heart of gold sports director, Rick Garley, here with the story. Wick, I guess it's a two Kleenex alert here. Two Kleenex alert, a couple boxes. But Daisha Evans' mom called me and said, my son hit a home run in Hoover. And I'm thinking, OK, here we go. And then she started crying when she's telling me this story. And I said, OK, there might be more to this and story than we thought. And there certainly is. Sometimes being successful in sports and being humble simply don't mix. That's why it sure was a pleasure to meet young Evan Radford of Hoover, who's a fine young ball player whose love for his family could be unmatched for a kid his age. As a shining moment arrived, Evan Radford was thinking of his grandfather and what ensued was Jonathan mentioned, get out the tissues. They say that time comes slowly, but goes fast. It's something the young baseball player has lots of these days. The grandfather, however, is on the clock. Evan Radford is only three years into playing baseball, and his athleticism isn't the only thing that makes him special. He probably has the largest heart of any, any child his age. There's no arrogance. He's very down to earth. It's that patient, that humble attitude, that has made Evan the perfect student for his papa, David Moore. He's taught me to um, always square your shoulders and always to keep my head on the ball and swing. Is he, is he a tough critic? And I had to get on his fanny about it. It's and, uh, true, isn't it? It is yeah. true. He realizes it. He loves watching his grandson. Time spent together has been a gift for Evan and his papa. That's why in the middle of spring ball came news that would rock the family as David had fallen out of bed. We called 911 and they came and picked him up, took him to the ER, and in the ER he had a series of tests done and they came back and said that he had a brain tumor. Daisha's dad was diagnosed with stage four brain cancer. Yet soon, an amazing scene would unfold Weeks after surgery, David summoned the strength to attend one of Evan's biggest baseball games of the season. And young Evan Radford was about to paint a picture that would last a lifetime. I went over to the fence and I was like, Mom, where's Papa? Where's Papa? And I was getting all worried. I was shaking my hands. I was like, where's Papa? Because it meant a lot to you. Yes, sir. Because it would be his first game to come. And we had set everything up for my dad. And when I saw him drive up, I went out to a system to come in and they were out warming up and finally mom went over to up to her car I thought she was just going up to her car and I saw Papa coming down and I was like yes I was so happy Evan's beloved grandfather was in the house now it was time it was just out of the blue I don't think anyone really it's he's hit his share but this one it was just it was almost like you couldn't put a script together I was up there and I was thinking about him if I hit one over I would be so happy. The first time up at bat, Evan got up. I hit it and it went really high. And it went over the fence. I was like, yes. And I was like, so happy. And then as he rounded third base, he pointed to his grandfather. <laughs> that was as good as it gets. Did you see him point to you? Yeah. I did. Did it surprise you? not coming from Evan. Evan Radford was not done. You see, this sweet kid wanted his papa to have that home run ball. And instantly after that home run, someone got the ball for him, brought it back over to him, and he stopped in the middle of the game and walked over and handed it to my dad. It was awesome. As emotional then as it is now. Yeah. Yeah. It's... If you quit baseball... Can I ask for anything else? How did your grandfather react? He, he was about to cry. He was about to really cry. He doesn't cry easily, does he? No. How does this stack up in great moments of your life? Rick, you're going to make me cry. I always remember it. All about. Yeah. Yeah. It's. 
I don't have grandkids, but I have kids. But I felt it that day. Who knows how long they have together. But as time passes all too quickly, the grandfather is still giving advice to the grandson. What's the message you want to give him? Always do the best he can and do the right thing with his teammates and with anybody else he deals with. And that one moment in time when an unselfish kid with a heart of gold thought not of himself in the midst of his glory. It's a shining example of how a sport can bond a family as a special memory will be etched forever in the Radfords' field of dreams. You'll never forget it. No. No, I played my share of baseball myself, but that's as good as it gets there. It's a moment. It wasn't my moment. It was their moment. I was just blessed that I was able to share it. Right there, Hardison? That's a, I tell you, wow. I mean, as a dad of boys, that's, Ooh. you know. I'll as any you. parent, yeah. man, yeah. that is really what sports is about. It really you know? is. I mean, and it's, it's something about the sport of baseball, the old moving field of dreams yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And by the way, David, the grandfather, is doing well. He was at Lakeshore back at home now. Good. Evan says if he doesn't make it in the major leagues, he will be a Fox 6 sports anchor. I, well, I believe <laughs> so that picture that you yeah. pointed out, somebody captured that picture. That moment. That moment. That, that, that will always yeah. be, no matter what happens mm -hmm. from here on. That's the moment. And that's one good thing about still pictures in a way. That's you right. Know, that they're with you forever. I am glad Mom called you to tell yes. you that story. And that you didn't hang up. Glad I listened. Yeah, I kid hit a home run, whatever. Yeah. It's such a great <laughs> story. Thanks, Thanks Rick. Thanks, Carly. Okay.